May I mention too that Garrett and uh, Megalutis are two of the five four-time All-Americans coming out of this championship. So, hey Sean, if you'd like to make a brief statement about your match, and we'll open up questions and congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I'm excited that the outcome was uh, me winning it, but you know. I did wrestle with a little bit of fear and a little anxiety. I didn't take as many shots as I probably could have, but uh, I guess right now I should focus on what I sh didn't do and focus on what I did do, uh, which was fought in the hands uh, hard. Uh, those guys are obviously really good at grinding people out, and that's how they win most of their matches. And um, you know, I, I I think I did what I need to do in order to be uh, where I am now. First question right there. Nishan, Zeb Miller, uh, Flo Russell, Ohio Casts. Uh, do you remember the last time you have been called for stalling three times in a match, if ever, in your life? And did that affect you at all in your strategy, or, or, or didn't it matter? Uh, you know, it didn't matter that much. Um, yeah, I didn't realize I was stalling, but um, I mean, I guess I could have been a little more offensive. And, but, you know, those guys are good at, at what they do. They're good at pushing guys around and, and uh, playing the part really well. So uh, he did his job, and he did what he needed to do, and I did what I needed to do. Right here? Uh, Nate, Nate Sean, when you, uh, when you got out there, you were just... Oh, excuse me, identifying yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Keith, we're at ESPN, Ithaca. Uh, Nate Sean, when you first got out there, you just stood still at center, center mat while Clark was bouncing all over the place. What were you thinking about right before the game? Um, well, I was thinking about just having just peace and just uh, calm myself in the midst of everything going on. Uh, I just really need to show and express that I was at a peaceful state when I was out there and that uh, that's what I wrestle with and I wrestle with confidence and um, and I think I just was trying to portray that and just express that to the best of my ability. First row, uh, Mike Fenton for which Nishan, you said you were nervous. Uh, what was the last time you remember being a nervous going into a match, even though you said you tried to calm yourself down? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say nervous. I wouldn't say nervous as much as I would say just, um, but, uh, I think maybe just letting expectation get in my, in my head a little bit and uh, not setting aside the, the idea of winning and losing uh, and just wrestling for the sake of wrestling and wrestling for the sake of putting on a show for people. Um, you know, I let the expectation just wearing me a little bit and um, you know he doesn't tire me out I, I tired myself out with the way that I over here uh, Nishan Nick Forster with Sports Illustrated um, this entire tournament you were really having a lot of fun with the Cornell fans um, just what was the atmosphere out there like tonight um, I mean it's awesome uh, it's it's a uh, it's an easy thing to get caught up in uh, when they were seeing the national anthem I was in tears just because I was just overwhelmed by the glory of the spectating and um, just the glory of God just just emanating from from me and just from everybody else and it was just a just a pretty amazing thing and I was uh, a little emotional before at my match so uh, I had to calm myself down and maybe get slapped in the face a couple times uh, before I uh, actually went out there the match. Question right back here. Nick Wilson, Chief Winter Prize Director. Nishan, could you describe where you were at emotionally at this time last year in comparison to now? Um, last year? Oh, yeah, last year was a bad year. Um, it was, there was a lot of stuff going on last year uh, with me cutting weight and me losing in the second round and then getting pinned and coming back to fight for fifth and then having injuries on my knee. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the difference is I want it. And, um, you know, and everything that comes with the winning, but uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, yeah, there's just the joy of, of being able to compete and, and enjoying wrestling last year. I didn't enjoy it, this year I did. Gary? Um, was there any difference wrestling up, this is Gary Abbey, you say wrestling. Uh, coming up a weight class, do you feel like you wrestled a different style and, and had a different energy? And the follow-up is, uh, you've qualified for the Olympic trials, will you go and in what way? Um, yes, and um, I have 57 kilos is the plan. Good for Seth. Yeah. Right back here in the back. Hi, Eddie Goldman, no holds barred. 
there seemed to be in this match a lot of head slaps. Did you actually use that to your advantage at one point? It looked like he had his arm out and you shot in for a, a takedown. What was the effect of all of that in this match, or was it more than normal? Um, I think uh, I really expected that he was going to grind out like that. I, I did expect myself to take more shots because I believe that uh, my shot load was open there that whole time. Um, but for some reason, I didn't uh, pull the trigger. And um, you know, obviously, the result was a lot closer than I expected it to be. But um, he did a good job at, at his game plan, which is exactly what I figured that he would do. And I didn't stick to mine. And um, uh, that was you know, that. Was Nation, Zeb Miller, Flores, and Ohio Cast. Uh, going from a 25 pounder, and then you're going to go 57 kilos at the Olympic trials. Is a 24 hour weigh in a lot different than a one and a two hour weigh in? Could we see anything that would affect you with that weight cut? You know, potentially because you could be our Olympian. I don't think there's any question that's that's up in the air. That weight um, could, is the weight cut something you're concerned with at all at 57? You know, similar to the 125 cut that really affected you last year, you weren't the same person that you were, and the person that you are now, you're kind of a different person. How is the weight cut in this 24 hours different? Um, I, I would say that uh, going down uh, the 25s, I think getting down and, and not having to deal with the grind of, of collegiate wrestling and every day grinding out, constantly having to, to get in there every day, two, uh, one and a half to two hours um, every day, and then I'm having to compete every weekend. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more of a relaxed atmosphere as far as the freestyle. Um, I think I'm going to be able to take, you know, get down. Well, obviously I don't have that much time right now, but um, I think by the time, you know, if I if I accomplish my goal of making the world team, um, and uh, I think I'll have enough time to just figure out getting down and and uh, how to control my weight and um, making sure that uh, within the, the 24 hours that. I'm as good as uh, I would be at 33s or whatever other way I would be going. One more question. Anybody else? Would be good. Oh, Gary. That double leg that won you the match in the whole, in the last period. I mean, do you feel that that was about as good a double leg as you got? I mean, it really seemed to be a clutch one, and and, and it, it took him right down. I mean, we set that up. But tell, tell us about that shot. Um, I mean that's. A shot that I have in my arsenal. Um, it's a shot that I felt like was there the whole time. Um, again, it's not anything that he necessarily was doing that was getting on me because I figured that he was going to do that. It was just a matter of me pulling the trigger and uh, getting after it. And um, I really just didn't do that as well um, as I wanted to do that. And um, you know, so there's a little bit of you know, it's it's hard to to say disappointment, but there's a little bit of. Um, you know, you just don't want to wrestle with fear. You come here this whole time, and it's my last match, and I want to it to be just, uh, just me just grinding out and getting to shots. And I just wasn't, I just didn't do it. And um, hopefully, uh, when I compete again, I'll be able to turn it back up and, and wrestle like the person I know that I am, um, and be able to to put on a show and and, and wrestle like um, one of my favorite wrestlers, Jordan Burroughs. Nashon, congratulations again. Thank you for your time. Nashon Garrett, your champion at 133 pounds from Cornell.